Hi all, today we are going to discuss how to meet the increased kilowatt demand on power station. So let us take for example, I am taking the case initially a power plant is operating like this. Initially this power plant is having a capacity of S1 and it is operating at a power factor of phi1. That means the active power that is supplied by this power station I am representing by P1. Active power that is taken by the supply to the load is P1. Now due to some reason, let us assume the load demand is increased from P1 to P2. Let us assume the load demand is increased from P1 to P2. So in order to supply the same load, that means in order to supply the same load because load power factor also will be constant. So one option is increase the plant capacity such that it will meet your power increased power requirement. That means this S1 should increase to this value. So this much extra capacity, the power plant capacity should increase. But if you want to increase the extra capacity, so automatically the cost increases. So to represent this easily, so this I am representing by OAB. Okay. So now this is changed to this point C. So now this from this point I am just extending, let us assume so this I am representing by D. So one way is D, let us take it as F, E I am going to represent. So now this extra capacity, extra rating I have to improve. So automatically some extra cost is involved. This is one procedure. And second procedure is don't increase the plant capacity. What I will do, I will improve the power factor. So power plant capacity is same, that means S is same and I am improving the power factor. So when you are improving power factor with the center as O and with the radius O as a draw a circle. So when you are drawing a circle, your circle will intersect at this point. That means with the same S, you have to improve the power factor up to a level, it will intersect at this point. So using this also I can do, let us take for example, this power factor is improved to phi 2. So this point I am representing by E. So this is also equal to S1. That means we can maintain the same KVA by installing that power factor correction equipment also, I can supply the required load. I can supply the required load by improving the power factor. When the power factor is improved, in that case also, because the same transmission line or the same plan that for a given KVA or for a given KVA rating, the power plan can supply more power if the power factor is improved. So this is already known to us. We have already discussed in previous lectures. These are the two methods. So let us try to see out of these two methods, which method will be better and how to calculate the economics, how to compare them. So I am summarizing what we have observed till now. The increase in the power demand on the generating station can be supplied by the following methods. First one is by increasing the KVA capacity of the power station at the same power factor of the load. That is one method. Second method is by improving the power factor of the system such that the required power can be supplied by same KVA rating power station. That means by the same KVA rating only, it can supply the required extra power that is required. But in both the cases, one case you have to increase the capacity of the plant and the another case, another case you have to install the power factor correction equipment. So in both the cases, the cost is involved. So that's why we are going to compare the cost involved in both the cases. So for that, I have drawn the same diagram once again, I have represented the phasors. So let the initial load on the station I am representing by P1. Initial load is equal to P1 and supplied at a power factor of cos phi 1 and let us assume the KVA rating of the station is equal to S. S is nothing but equal to OA. So if the demand is increased to P2, if the demand is increased from P1 to P2, then in order to supply the same power, if you extend this with the same power factor, because load is having the same power factor, so you can extend it. So from OA, if you extend the line, extend the straight line, it will intersect the vertical line from this F at point C. That means this AC will be the extra capacity that should be increased. So this is one option or second option is the same power P2 can be supplied by improving the power factor. That means same KVA rating is there. Just this will intersect at this point by improving the power factor from cos phi 1 to cos phi 2. That means this OE is equal to OA is equal to S. That is not changed. I am installing a power factor correction equipment. Let us see the cost involved in each of these cases. So first I am starting with cost of increasing the KVA capacity. That means I am increasing the KVA capacity that is AC. So if X is the annual cost per KVA rating of the station, that means to install one extra KVA, let us assume per annum the depreciation cost I am representing by X, then cost for increasing the KVA rating will be equal to what is the cost per KVA multiplied by 
total extra kva to be supplied extra kva rating required is ac agree with me what is this ac this ac because if this angle is equal to 51 so if you draw a vertical line here this also angle also subtend will be 51 so i can write this ac this hypotenuse will be equal to ad by cos phi because if you are writing cos phi is nothing but ad divided by ac agree with me so from this i can calculate the value of ac is equal to ad divided by cos phi so ad divided by cos phi so this i can write as x multiplied by what is this ad ad is nothing but equal to bf so ad is nothing but equal to bf what is this bf bf is p2 minus p1 so difference in the power divided by cos phi up to here i hope it is clear to you so let us calculate the value of p2 so p2 can be represented by oe you can see this triangle this upper triangle oe and making an angle of phi 2 oe cos phi 2 that gives the value of p2 similarly p1 can be represented by this triangle that means oab this can be represented by oa cos phi 1 oa cos phi 1 agree with me so this i can write as this oe cos phi 2 this is oe that is oe cos phi 2 minus oa cos phi 1 or this i can represent in the form as x multiplied by s into cos phi 2 minus cos phi 1 because the reason is this oe is nothing but equal to oa because both are equal to s so same thing i am representing here oe is equal to oa is equal to same because kva rating is not changed so this i am taking as equation number one so let us see the case instead of going for this if i am improving the power factor using power factor correction equipment so that is by maintaining the same kva rating if the power factor is improved the curve ob the curve ob that will shift to oe this is not ob right this is oa the curve oa will shift to oe so the reactive power supplied by the power factor correcting equipment it should be equal to this qc this qc is nothing but equal to ec so that much should be supplied ec this ec is nothing but equal to fc minus fc so fc minus fe because initially because for supplying the same kva so actually that is required you have to extend the power plant instead of extending i am just improving the power factor it is rich here that means that difference whatever is there this e to c so that is actually the reactive power that should be supplied to supply the required value so that's why this is equal to fc minus fe what is the value of fc so again i am going back the value of fc so this is the full one so this is the outer triangle so what outer triangle fc i can write as oc sin phi 1 because opposite side if you want to calculate it is nothing but oc because this is oc that is hypotenuse sin phi 1 and the second one so this can be represented by oe sin phi 2 oe sin phi 2 gives the value of fe so again this oc this oc can be given by this oc can be given by of divided by cos phi 1 so where is of this is of this is of divided by cos phi 1 so this is p by cos phi is nothing but s so of divided by cos phi 1 that gives the value of oc so sin phi 1 minus oe sin phi 2 again this of can be written as this of this of can be written as oe cos phi 2 of can be written as oe from the second triangle oe cos phi 2 agree with me that is same so oe cos phi 2 sin phi 1 by cos phi 1 minus oe sin phi 2 or this i can simplify sin phi 1 by cos phi 1 is will be equal to tan phi 1 so this cos phi 2 come here minus sin phi 2 this oe is nothing but equal to yes so this will be s tan phi 1 cos phi 2 minus sin phi 2 so if y is the annual cost per kvr of power factor correction equipment then total cost will be equal to y multiplied by this value so y multiplied by this value so this i am taking as equation number two so equation number two indicates the cost of the power factor correction equipment equation number one indicates extra cost required for expanding the plant so the power factor equipment will be cheaper when the cost of the power factor equipment is cheaper compared to the power plant case so this is the cost for power factor equipment this is the cost for increasing the plant capacity so it should be less than so what i am doing i am simplifying both sides ss will cancel so this side s and this side s will cancel then this will be y this is a tan phi 1 i can write by sine by cos so this is the remaining things are same 
So this cos phi 1, I am taking common. So when you are taking cos phi 1 common, so here also cos phi 1 will come. So cos phi 1 came here also. Both sides cos phi 1 is there. So cos phi 1, cos phi 1 will cancel here. So this will simplify like this. So this I can further simplify. This is of the form sin A cos B minus cos A sin B. This is sin A minus B. That's why this is sin phi 1 minus phi 2 is less than x times of cos phi 2 minus cos phi 1. Or from this, I can tell that the value of a y should be less than x times of cos phi 2 minus cos phi 1 by sin of phi 1 minus phi 2. So, always the cost of this power factor improvement equipment that y per KVAR should be less than x times of this one. So, in that case, that it is economical. That means we can better go for the power factor equipment. And the limiting factor will come when y is equal to, that means this value is equal to this value. That is the limiting value. That means whether you go for expanding the power plant or going for the power factor improvement, it is not going to give any difference. So let us take one example to understand this concept. A system is working with its maximum KVA capacity at a power factor of 0 0.6. The load demand is increased and can be supplied by First, first method is raising the power factor of the system to 0.8 by installing the static capacitors and second way is by increasing the installed capacity of the plant. If the total cost of generating plant is rupees 1000 per kVA, estimate the limiting cost per kVA of static capacitor bank to make it economical then increasing the power capacity or power plant capacity. The depreciation charges may be uh, assumed to be 10% in each case. That means the depreciation charges should be 10% of this one. So let us note down the given data. It is given the initial power factor is 0.6 and the final power factor is 0.8. The value of investment of this expanding the power is 1000 per kVA. So this is the total value. So if you want per annum, so per annum will be 100 or we can tell that 1000 divided by 10 per kVA per annum. So either you can take the investment or the depreciation cost. So this x I can write as 100 multiplied by because it is x into cos phi 2 minus cos phi 1 by sin of phi 1 minus phi 2. This is 100 into 0.8 minus 0 0.6 divided by sin of phi 1 is cos inverse of 0.6 minus phi 2 is cos inverse of 0.8. So when you are calculating this, this will become 71.42 kVAR per annum. KVAR by per annum or total cost or we can tell that initial investment is equal to 10 times this one because 10% is the depreciation you have to multiply with 10. So this will become 714.2 this is 714.2 per KVAR. So this much is the rating. So up to this much cost of this power factor improvement equipment, it is economical to go for power factor improvement only. If the cost of your power factor improvement equipment is greater than this, it is not economical. If it is less than this, so better go for the power factor improvement only. So this way we can compare the economics. I hope this concept is completely clear to you. If you still have any queries, you can leave your comments in the comment section below. I will answer to your queries from there. Thank you. Thank you very much.